Okay. This is an experience I had where I ignored the Holy Spirit. And this was the consequence of ignoring the Holy Spirit's nudging. One day, my ex-husband and I had bought a car from a, uh, an auction. And it was getting late in the afternoon, and we were both trying to get a lot of things done. So we decided we called the, the insurance agent and made an appointment to go to her office to um, open up our insurance for the car, to cover the car. And uh, in the meantime, I had to make a few runs with the car. So I made a few runs. And as I had three close calls, one, I almost hit a guy on a bike. Another one, I almost ran off the curb in a dangerous place and didn't realize it. Caught myself in time. <laughs> Three, let me see, one, two, three. Um, I'm trying to remember the third one, but for the sake of time, I'm going to move on. The bottom line is I almost, I had three extremely close calls, very scary ones. And the feeling I had the whole day was that an accident was following me everywhere I went. It was almost like a shadow uh, I mean, I could almost picture this like a shadow of something hovering over me saying, accident, get hurt, accident. It was, it was a nasty feeling like something like an accident was trying to happen to me all day long. I never had that experience in my whole life. And this day I kept feeling accident, accident, happen, happen, happen. It was weird. Okay, so what I ended up doing was I kept making my runs and praying. Oh, Lord, cover me with the Holy Ghost. Oh, Lord, protect me. I rebuke accidents in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know how we go into our spiritual phase and we start really thinking we're all that and a bag of chips in the spirit realm. Ooh, I was presuming like a fool. Now. The whole time, I can't, I, I'm, I literally could not shake the feeling, could not shake it. No matter what I did, no matter how hard I prayed, couldn't shake the feeling. It followed me everywhere I went, could not shake that. If you ever have that feeling about anything, stop dead in your tracks. It might be time for you to just go back in that house and call, put the keys down and say, whatever doesn't get done today, just won't get done. Because let me tell you what happened to me. As a result of foolish presumption on my part, I took the car out for one last run. Didn't have to make it. Just trying to be a good Samaritan, being a nice person, hey. Giving a person a ride home. And um, I back out. I, I'm sitting at the back. Uh, uh, the back of the car is sitting down on the border of my driveway in the street. And I'm praying. Oh, Lord, we bind you. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus, Satan. You will not cause me to have an ex. I mean, I'm just I'm covering this thing with prayer. Yeah. I backed out of that house, out of the driveway, and I didn't make one block. The very first corner, I had the right of way. The guy on my left was coming to the same intersection, and the front of his car was dipping down as he was hitting his brakes. And I could tell by his speed, he was only at maybe 10 or 15 miles an hour. He was definitely slowing down to a stop. So I ease on forward. And instead of going fast, because it's a dip, I eased. And as I eased, I don't know what happened to Brother Man, but I think it was demonic. Something made him put his foot, because he couldn't figure out why his foot went to the accelerator. 
something made him put his foot on the accelerator and he had put the pedal to the metal and here he came at me at top speed by the time he hit me he was driving at least 25 to 30 miles an hour that's how fast I mean it's like somebody <laughs> sped up at top speed and guess what he totaled my uninsured car now we prayed for our protection we covered everything and yes God protected me glass flying everywhere not a bit got on my face car hit me in the side I felt it not even a bruise oh God protected me protected my passenger no problem but there was no more car to drive Remember, we were going to the insurance agent the very next day. Now, how many times have most of us taken a chance one or two days and driven a car we just got and then got the insurance because it was a putt-putt and we just needed something right away and we made a few runs? We were fine. How often does that happen to people? But here's the thing. I felt it all day long. All day long. I felt that accident following me everywhere now here's the thing dum 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 diddy dum dum yours truly got a little angry with the Lord because after all I did pray I rebuked and I took authority I did all the spiritual warfare that the word told us to do knowing how badly we needed that car it got messed up anyway, in spite of all my prayers. Now, wouldn't that seem like God abandoned me in my hour of need? Yeah, sure. Well, five years later, five years of telling that story, I used to say that was the only thing in my life that I never could figure out why God allowed something like that to happen to me. Couldn't figure that one out. <laughs> and as God would have it, he let me struggle over my own stupidity for a while. Five years worth of a while. And one day when I just got through telling that story, I could. it was like the Holy Spirit came on me and gave me a split second revelation. I saw. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. I ran in the I said, I'll be right back. I didn't say it. I, said, I'll be right. I ran in the bathroom. I locked that door and I sobbed. I said, Lord, I didn't see it like that. I'm so sorry. Let me tell you what God told me. He said, when you had the first close call, that was me. When you had that feeling, that was me protecting you. When you had the second close call, that was me trying to stop you from driving. When you had that nasty feeling on you all day, that was me telling you not to drive your car. I did everything I could to stop you, but you went anyway. I realized it wasn't God's fault. It was mine all the time because the Holy Spirit was working on me all day long with signals of high alert and, and urgent warnings left and right. And I just kept thinking that was just an attack of the enemy and I could rebuke it. That was the Holy Spirit warning me. Had I left the keys, on the thing that day, I would have had a car for several years to come, and everything would have been fine. But no, I had to go, because I'm a born-again Christian, and God's going to take good care of me. Well, sometimes God's way of taking care of you is saying, stay put, don't go anywhere, be still, sit down. 
Quit being in a hurry to dart around town. Sit your behind down. This is not going to be a good day for you. Now just stay put. You stay put, I got you covered. You get out there, you're coming out of my protection. Because I told you what not to do. Dum dee dee dum dum did it again. Ignore the Holy Spirit. What are you doing?